Who here thinks it's hard to produce content? Who here produces content for their websites and their social media? I produce content. That's it? Who here is going to have to this year? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. OK, so it can get really overwhelming. Produce, like, being in charge of the PR can be insanely overwhelming if you're not used to it. I've taken, it's also how we produce movies, so bear with me. <laughs> this is literally what I do whenever I get a project that I'm producing. I have blank calendar. Right? Oh, it's a little intimidating like a blank page when you're writing. And then you think, what's the goal? The goal is to let the world know about what the club is up to and what the brand of the club is. So I'm going to keep going back to EBP because, again, we, we started with it, so we might as well finish with it. It's all about empowerment and business. So if we have empowerment and business as the two whys, right? That's why our club exists, to give our members empowerment and to give them, to help them with their businesses. So the key, like Elizabeth said, about a content calendar is to be consistent. In order to be consistent, you have to plan it out and you have to know how much time it's gonna take to do everything. So whenever I do a content calendar, I have different colored post-it notes. Why, do I, why would I use post-it notes instead of just writing it up? Exactly, because <laughs> life happens. <laughs> so let's say we decided once a week we're going to do a cross post. We really love this one business site or this one inspirational site, and we've gotten permission, if it's copywritten, to cross post their material. Who here can tell me what cross posting means? Right. Why is this a good thing in social media? Right, if they see that you're liking and cross-posting their content, chances are they're going to come and like and cross-post your content. So that's the best part about social media. It's online networking. So if you decide, okay, I'm going to cross-post all the material for July on Monday, and then we decided we're going to put quotes up once a week because we're part of empowerment, right? Notice that on this post, you probably can't read it, but it says, quote, up. There's a reason for that. So we just, you know, put it on the content calendar that we're doing a quote each Wednesday. And then after our meetings, we're going to put a recap. We meet the second and, f what is it, second, fourth Wednesday. So the recap's going to go up the next day, right? These are just examples. You guys can go through that list and come up with your own. There's also a monthly blog from the president, okay? But the key is for us, have a theme. Have a theme for your month. It's going to make finding content so much easier. So let's say the president's blog is this day. Wait, this day. I'm sorry, I'm going really fast, you guys. I don't want to keep you past the time because we are Toastmasters. So now we break down what it's going to take time-wise and effort for us to get this content up. The cool thing about cross-posting and quotes is you can do them all in one day, in one chunk at the beginning of the month. So I'm going to gather all of my social quotes on Thursday. And then I am going to, whoops, that's this. I'm going to gather all of my cross posts and then I'm going to edit all of my cross posts on Saturday and then I'm going to put all of my cross post images together and they're going to be in one file or you can schedule them if you're in a on, have a social media platform to all go up on these days but you're done once you've done all three of those steps so if the president's writing a blog they have to you have to send them the theme, right? So you have to look at your calendar, your calendar, since you're the one doing all of this, and you have to go, how long in advance do I need to have my blog in for my president? Okay, I'm gonna need to edit 
the president's blog, so that's going to take me a day, right? I'm going to need to put images on the president's blog, and I can do them the same day, so I'll just put that there. If I'm going to do this on the third, people are late, so we always want to make sure we give them a little breathe room, so we tell them, I need your blog by the first, right? Just so I have it in 48 hours before I'm going to start doing my thing. On the content calendar, you're just going to break it down. You're just, what do I need? What are the steps it's going to take me to get it? How much time do each of those steps take? And then you put them up here. And that is an example of a content calendar.